Here is my Circuit Playground Express that I recently got back to doing some programming. Now I have attached a LED strip to it. It's uh, 30 NeoPixels. And did a little simple programming on it. That is a, oh, is a 3.7 volt and 500 milliamp hour LiPo, which is lithium polymer battery which is enough to run this. Um, so I just did a little bit of coding. I had to, you know, learn about sub, remember how to do a subroutine in block coding, which is, you know, using a function command. Um, I just started with some basic, playing with some colors. Um, red, green, red and green combo. That's a purple for my, like, divider. That is gold supposedly and there's silver and gold and there is the uh, animation that is built into the circuit playground express that's the beginning of this um, code so it just keeps looping forever I put it in a forever loop I used make code make code that adafruit dot com I think I forget um, the link is there on the blog page where I wrote about this. So I just wanted you to see it live. I didn't program any sound into it yet, but again, you, know, you can program. It's got a little speaker in it, so you can program some tones and notes. And uh, that one of the next steps will be Adafruit has this Cricut, which you take the Circuit Playground Express and hook it onto there. And it's like a robotics um, program interface that gets powered differently. It needs about five volts because it's going to have servos and motors on it. So you need to deal with some uh, batteries or a plug-in power. And again, let's just start. This is for, I'm not sure what that one's for. It seems to be power. There we got motor, a speaker. NeoPixels, um, capacitive touch, so creating you know, little buttons and switches, and input output again, sensors, that's where you plug in servos. Um, so it's kind of got it nice and all laid out. No soldering needed because these are screw poles. Whereas this has um, alligator clips already wired into it. And I plugged them in to see voltage out. And A1 is my data pin, and then ground is the other one. Make sure you get the colors right, because you have red is power, black is ground. Again, there's three pins for a NeoPixel. We need power, we need ground, and we need data. So, there's my little toy. Just playing with it. Keep playing, lots of things to do. 